Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, ben here. Um, just thought I'd give uh, making videos a shot since I'm planning on starting a YouTube channel. This is as good as time as any to learn the system and how everything works, how to do get that video editing down. So um, this is my system right now. Uh, working on upgrading it, switching it over. It's in a Cooler Master half stacker right now, and I'm going to be moving it over to a Corsair Vengeance C70 because the stacker actually is going to be getting used in a upcoming project that I'm finalizing plans on. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, um, getting some sponsorships for that. So, <clears throat> as it sits right now, AS uh, AS Rock um, Fatality 990 FX Killer motherboard with a uh, FX 6350 on it, no overclock, cooled with a uh, Cooler Master Sidon 120M, I think is the model. I don't remember if it's the 120M or 120V. Um, does pretty good, keeps it nice low temperatures, got a couple extra intake fans, nothing nothing real big, just to keep air moving. Um, it's a Sapphire R9 280 Dual X OC card uh, for graphics. And then, uh, let's see, the memory is right now it's uh, 8 gigs of Crucial Ballistics Tactical Tracer, uh, 1866 megahertz. And uh, it's just a Rosewill uh, 80 plus gold 650, uh, it's a capstone 650M power supply. And then for the primary uh, OS uh, drive, I've got a Intel 530 series 180 gigabyte. M.2 SSD on the motherboard and then for in the drive bays I've got um, you can see a couple uh, crucial M500 uh, 256 gigabyte SSDs in RAID 0 that's my primary game drive uh, I've got a smaller uh, older I got a two and a half inch uh, hard drive uh, I think it's like a 600 gigabyte or something like that uh, WD drive that's my primary uh, mass storage and then I got a one terabyte drive uh, there's another WD one I think I don't remember the exact model let's see if I can looks like it's a WD green two terabyte oh two terabyte actually um, that's my primary backup and then I've uh, got it in two different par partitions for extra storage so um, that's a system as it sits right now like I said I'll be moving it over to the Corsair C Vengeance C70 case, and I'll be doing some upgrades at the same time. Um, got a little pile of parts here that's been building up for a while. Um, going to be swapping out to a uh, FX8350, and I'm going to try my first attempt at overclocking with this one. Uh, and to go with that, I got the H100i GTX cooler from Corsair. Then I picked up some of the Linus Tech Tips limited edition fans. I uh, got a couple of the NFA 14s and uh, NFF 12s. So pretty excited to use those. First uh, first time using Noctwiz in my main system. I got one smaller system over here. Um, using that on a networking project that uh, needed a new fan in the front So uh, for the CPU. So I got a, picked up a, a pretty cheap 60 millimeter Noctua. Nah, that was probably four or five months ago. And I got another 8 gigabytes of RAM to go in, get me up to 16, because I figured if I'm going to be doing any kind of video editing, kind of need that little extra memory. Got a uh, second R9 uh, 280 Dual-X from Sapphire to go Crossfire, and I'm bumping it up to a uh, EVGA Supernova 1050G, so that'll be nice. Uh, fully modular, I'm pretty excited. So uh, right now the plan is, I think... Um, I might swap out the uh, two NFF 12s onto the radiator for the H100i GTX, so that I can get a little extra, little extra push on getting the air through the radiator going out top, and then mm, probably take the two from the radiator, throw them on the front here behind the front bezel, uh, so I get extra air going through that drive bay, and then I think I'm going to take the two 140 millimeter Noctua's and put, actually put them here on the side panel pulling out um, so that because I because there's a uh, with the graphics cards with it being the open cooler and just kind of circulates air through the case I want to try to suck out that hot air as soon as possible so uh, it might wind up in the end being a little bit of a negative pressure situation on the uh, case as a whole so I might have to come back and readdress that later um, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there so um, I'm actually surprised with how clean this system has stayed because uh, I probably haven't cleaned it in six months at least 
and there's really not too much dust in here. You can see some particularly up here on the uh, drive, so get it focused there. It's actually like a really, really fine powdery dust. Um, and that's because I live in a house that's so about 140 years old, at least you can really see it there on the radiator. Um, so it's going to be a little more difficult, I think, to clean that off than if it was just regular ordinary house dust. But when you live in a really old house with plaster, lath and plaster walls, that's part of what you got to deal with. I'm hoping to move into a new place here in the next six months. So we'll see how that goes. And uh, yeah, I'll come back and give you a, a shot of the new system as it goes or you know if I run into any interesting situations um, I'll take a video of that and let you guys know hey uh, I forgot to mention a couple other things uh, you can see well back there there's a jumble of boxes of random computer parts I got um, I am upgrading my uh, monitors too I got two uh, Asus VN 289 28 inch IPS monitors uh, 1080p so hopefully give me a little more room to work with um, my old system I had a 23-inch uh, Asus monitor. I can't remember the model off the top of my head that I've been using. That was a TN panel. I got that because I was just doing gaming at the time. And then for a secondary monitor, I had uh, my LG TV there, 32-inch. That's old. I bought that way back in, like, 2010, I think. Um, you can see my pulled everything off my desk. I got it sitting around in my collection of computer parts I'm using on various builds, stuff like that. So... I've uh, got a bunch of projects going. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to bring that up. I forgot to mention that before. So, uh, I'll be getting a monitor upgrade, too. I'm pretty excited about that. All right, now, this is pretty interesting. Um, just pulled off the cooler here. Uh, and you can see it was... Uh, oh, come on, get to focus. The uh, thermal paste got pretty dried out, uh, which is really surprising to me because um, the system's only been together for about... Well, just about a year now, um, and the only time I've seen thermal paste dry out this much is you know is one of the older systems that uh, at least at least five years old that hadn't had any kind of maintenance done on them. So um, I can't remember what thermal paste I used, and I'm gonna try to try to dig it up, see if I can uh, see if I still maybe have the tube around somewhere. I'm pretty sure I got I used it all up though, because um, I want to make sure not to use again because I've. And for as, as short a time as this system's been together, that's pretty surprising to me that it's that dried out already. So that might explain. I, I had noticed in the last month or two that my CPU idle was definitely, um, you know, at least 5 to 7 degrees Celsius higher than it had been previously. So I'm wondering if it just dried out recently um, when it started getting, when the air, you know, ambient air started getting um, a little more... Uh, dry the humidity dropped when winter started here is uh so uh i don't know we'll see see what happens and uh I'm curious to see how much the uh doubling of the radiator size and trying some different thermal paste this time will change all right something i wanted to uh just kind of give us a little tidbitty you know for helping other people um I was just getting ready to clean the old thermal paste off the 6350 before I put it back in its package and I grabbed this to get going and I thought, hey, I should share that. Uh, this is a little um, dispenser bottle I picked up in the uh, beauty section of Target, I think. Um, and it, I just use it to hold my rubbing alcohol and it's nice, you just press down this plunger and it'll uh, bring up a little bit of the rubbing alcohol. Uh, so it makes it real convenient, uh, you don't have to worry about carrying around a whole bottle and then the other thing is these uh red carpet oh come on focus red carpet manicure uh lint-free nail wipes these are actually something uh my mom actually believe it or not saw them and thought hey that might be handy because she knew i was i was going through lint-free claws and stuff microfiber claws for various things so these are nice it's uh makes it real handy so i'll grab one of these quick and just show you guys i mean they're a little, they're kind of like cotton pads, but much, much thinner. Kind of a quilted texture. And yeah, I mean, it's just really easy. You can see just boop, like that, and start working away. As with everything in life, when building a computer or working on one, it is necessary to have a cat that will decide that it's time for attention. So, this is Loki. 
he's a rescue. I found him while working at McDonald's in college, actually. So, he's fun. And, oh, hey, there's Numero Dos. That's Moriarty. He's the big troublemaker. Loki's a more cuddly one. Alright guys, so um, things got a little crazy and I wasn't able to keep filming as I went. I wound up getting kind of rushed and having to get the uh, upgrades finished. So this is the finished system as it sits now in the uh, new Corsair Vengeance C70 case. I uh, got my two new monitors. I'm really liking them so far. Definitely, uh, I think, better picture quality by far than over the TN panel I had before. Um, I'll be including some still shots. Um, you can see the two 140 Linus Noctua fans, Linus Edition Noctua fans there on the side panel. Um, they seem to be doing a pretty good job. I think um, doing benchmarks. I got to I gotta run new ones here um, with the upgrades uh, and, and note all the scores, but I did run a couple quick right after I got the system up. And um, if I remember right, the CPU, I think, maxed out at 30 Celsius, running at, like, full load. Um, and the GPUs I haven't seen peak above 71 um, when I'm doing really heavy, intense gaming. So I'm curious to see is how those will perform on the uh, benchmarks. So uh, just a quick update and uh, getting work done on the uh, build. So I'll be starting videos on those soon, hopefully. So um, yeah, that's about it.